<laughs> What's it going to be? Question number one. What shouldn't you count before they've hatched? I'll say it. If you've had, uh, you know, if you have to take time to count them, you're hatching way too many schemes, all right? So stop scheming so much and pay more attention to your eggs. Make sure they hatch into chickens. Yes. 421,232 got that one. You're moving on to question number two. Oh, shoot, look at you. Yeah. Let's get it. Which is not a stack of cards included with a standard Monopoly board game? Chance, community chest, or casino? Locking those answers, babies. Yay, yay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Because the game is about business. But there sure is a lot of gambling in Monopoly. Yeah, you got dice and two bonkers sets of cards, which means all your real estate know-how is at the mercy of chance and community chest. No casino! Ain't no casino, babies. That's the answer I was looking for, all right? So if you got casino, you got it right. You doing the thing, the way it's supposed to be done. For sure. I'm talking 411,000. 15 of y'all just got that right. We're moving on to question number three. Let's go. Which of these conflicts did the U.S. enter first? World War I, Civil War, or War of 1812? What's it gonna be? I mean, not a lot of wars are, uh, are helpful enough to tell you when they happened in the title, which means you just have to know that uh, World War I was in the 20th century and that the Civil War kicked off in the 1860s, making 1812 the earliest. War of 1812, babies. Yeah, 291,431 history buffs are still in the game. A lot of extra lives getting used right now. Y'all dropping it like it's hot. Trying to win a lot. We got $10,000. Let's see. Here we go. Question four. Cuticles are most closely associated with which body part? Lungs, abdomen, or hands? Your cuticles, y'all. Yeah. Hmm. Which body part? Are they the cutest body part? Let me know in the chat. They are definitely small, though, so it's, it's understandable. You could miss, you could miss them. You know, but cuticles don't have much of a job to do anywhere but at the base of your fingernails. Right on your hands, your H cuticles. 398,306 knew what to do with the cuticles. Word. Here we go. I, 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 I. Question five. Question five. I, 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 I. Question five. I have. Woo! Question five. Of these sporting events, which occurs in the shortest amount of total standard game time? NCAA basketball, high school football, or NHL hockey? I'm about to let y'all know. All right, NHL and college hockey games both go for an hour, okay? But then things get briefer. High school footballers have homework to take care of, so they wrap it up in like 48, yeah. And with two, two, two 20-minute halves, or uh, four 10-minute quarters per game, NCAA hoopsters barely even show up. 135,298 are feeling great. On your way to question number six, let's go to work. All the other kids with the questions. You better tap, tap the right answer. Question six, babies. Which of these Nickelodeon cartoons aired by far the most episodes? Doug, Rugrats, or The Ren and Stimpy Show? Who's it gonna be? I loved all these growing up. Ah, uh, all my 90s babies. This one's for you. Sunday, August 11th, 1991. All three shows premiered in one 90-minute block. Ren and Stimpy ran 55 episodes through 1996. Doug had 131 total episodes ending in summer 1999, but the Rugrats plowed past Y2K with 179 episodes. It's a whole lot of rug action, little screwdrivers and diapies. Yeah, Reptar. Come on. <laughs> was it, there, there was a xylophone. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah. Baked apples from Grandpa. All right, 270,772 got that one. It's time for question number seven. We're moving and grooving, babies! The fur of all tabby cats always includes which of these? M on forehead, orange stripes, or spots? We're talking about tabby cats, y'all. Tabby cats. Tabby cats. I mean, they're called tabby cats, but maybe they should be called mabby cats because they all have a very distinctive M marking on their foreheads. Like some kind of cat superhero costume, but just with regular cat powers. What's the best kind of cat? Y'all let me know in the chat. That's a savage question. Whoa, 79,544 y'all. Just probably own a tabby. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Savage question. Savage question. Woo! Not all tabbies are orange, babies. Yeah. Let's go to work. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Which of these words is of Chinese origin? Sausage, ketchup, or dumpling? We gonna see. All right. When words evolve, they usually retain a lot of the original sound. You know what I'm saying? But there was a long journey from the original food to the one that Americans know. It started as a spiced pickled fish concoction called ketchup. Hope that sounds familiar. Ketchup, babies! Ketchup was the answer. That's another Savage Question song. I'm feeling good. Here we go! Savage Question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage question song. That's the second savage question song. That was about ketchup. All about ketchup. Woo question number nine. Feeling so divine. Here we go. The longest regularly scheduled airline flight links what cities? Tokyo and Lisbon, Singapore and Newark, or Auckland and Frankfurt? You'll get this one right. Especially if you've ever taken this flight. All right, clocking in at about 19 hours. You'll want to pack the big Sudoku book and a good neck pillow for the long haul flight from Newark, New Jersey to Singapore. Yeah! 36,159 got that one right. What's the best way to pass time on a, on a long flight? Let me know in the chat or hit me up on social media to tell me because I, I got some long flights coming up. I want to know how I'm supposed to kill time. I can't just watch movies or sleep the whole time. Maybe, maybe I could. Question number 10. Here we go again, my friends. Time to get it in. Which continent is home to the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area? Africa, North America, or Asia? What's it gonna be? The largest freshwater lake by surface area, y'all. Remember when I said the, the War of 1812 was very helpful with its precise, accurate name? Well, here's another shout out to the properly named largest by surface area freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior, right here in North America. 15,270, got that one right. Savage question song? I think so. Here we go, Savage Question Song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage Question Song, that's another Savage Question Song. North America, got a real big lake. Lake Superior, No, it feels great. I, I'm so congested. I slept with no clothes on and the AC was just bumping. That was silly of me. <laughs> Get it together, Richards. Here we go. Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. The 1994 film, It Runs in the Family, is a sequel with almost none of the original actors of what? Dirty Dancing, A Christmas Story, or Mr. Mom? What's it gonna be? Kid actors grow up so fast, and other actors refuse to return for cash in sequels that uh, sometimes you gotta rehire an all new cast, like this film did. They also thought about changing the title to My Summer Story to better match A Christmas Story. 13,408, got that one right. It's time for question 12. What's that smell? Smells like there's more questions. I can't smell anything, cause I can't breathe through my nose. 
but the show must go on. There's money to be won, and I'm trying to get it to you, all right? Woo! Okay, here we go, question 12. In which of these places was the dragon storm observed? Middle Earth, Westeros, or Saturn? I'm talking about the dragon storm. That sounds so cool. All right, now there's a movie called Dragon Storm, where dragons travel to Earth inside meteors. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. But maybe it's inspired by the real life Dragon Storm, which is a long lived storm in Saturn's southern hemisphere. Space is crazy, y'all. Crazy space. 11,837, got that one right. Moving on to question number 13. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Pew, 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 pew. Pim, 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 air horns. Hey, y'all. I love you guys. All right, here we go. Question 13. Which of these composers is not considered Baroque? Huh? Johann Sebastian Bach, Ludwig van Beethoven, or George Friedrich Handel? All right. Did y'all know that today is Bach's birthday? Happy birthday, Johann Sebastian. Now, this question might make you feel a little bit romantic because Bach and Handel are from the Baroque era, but Beethoven is considered a key figure of the Romantic era. Ludwig van Beethoven. 9,206, just got that one right. We got two questions to go, $10,000. Let's do this. Serious now. Question 14. Here we go. Of these countries, whose national flag displays the country's shape? Philippines, Cyprus, or Laos? Hmm? Okay, when your country looks this good, you're gonna wanna show it off. Come on, country, do a little spin, yeah. And when you check out Cyprus's flag, you'll see the lovely shape of Cyprus. You better go get it, Cyprus. You better work with your fine country self. Yeah, 7,874 are moving on to the final question. Question 15. Question 15, you know what I mean? Time for question 15. That's a number on the screen. Question 15. Question 15. Woo! Question 15. Yeah. Okay. Question 15 for all the shmane. What expensive gift is J-Lo mad about at the start of her music video for Love Don't Cost a Thing? Cell phone, diamond ring, or bracelet? Think you gotta keep me, I still don't. Think I'm gonna spend your cash out. Even if you're broke, my love, don't cost a thing. When you woke up in the house, <laughs> Okay, music videos with cold opens. They don't make them like they used to, man. All right? J-Lo's love doesn't cost a thing, but that doesn't stop her man from trying to buy her off with a fancy gift. But she ain't feeling it. Look! I just wish that you could have been here instead of a bracelet. I'm saying it right here, right now. J-Lo is a vampire. She does not age. But the crazy news is we got 2,011 winners. Bracelet was the right answer. Holy moly! <laughs> Congratulations, Monster Al, you got $4.97. Maggie Go, one AUOA. Erica Coy, Papapas. <laughs> Jay Christus, Doggy Girl, and Cow Cat. Just a few of the winners that have won 
the winnings. We got 2011 winners. Who else? Ooh, Phantom 2, Highwire Girl, Lionized, and Ruisk. Y'all did it, man. Y'all did that. That was cold. For sure. You won HQ Trivia, and you won the bragging rights. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials, at Matt Was Funny. Words is coming up next at 9.30 with my twin sister, Anna Royceman. I'll be back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 9. Until then, good night. Ciao, bella. Woo!